Welcome to Leisure Bit, and today we're on our second visit to Stanix Park. So let's get cracking. It's the 7th of November, and that's my birthday. So we thought we'd start the day, given how nice the Sunday lunch was, at the Pheasant Inn, Bassenthwaite Lake, and had some breakfast. Thanks, Rachel, for a delicious breakfast. Birthday breakfast at the Pheasant Inn. After we'd finished breakfast, we began our journey, and we headed west towards the coast. And on the way, we stopped off at Tesco's in Workington, just to pick up some bits and pieces to keep us going for the next few days. Couldn't walk past the coffee machine without grabbing a coffee. Right, that's the shopping done, so let's get on our way. Gonna head up the coast now and pass through Maryport and do a quick stop off at Allenby, like we did last time, just to pass a bit of time and give Roxy a bit of exercise before we head on to Stanick Park. We pick up our journey now just coming into Allenby and you can see the weather's not been too kind again either. If you want to know where it's going to be raining, just ask us where we're heading off next to in the van. Just get parked up in the car park now. There's no charge for parking up here, certainly not at the moment anyway. And let's take Roxy for a bit of a walk and just have a very quick look round. That's Roxy walked, so let's head now on our journey up to Stanick Park. We pass through Blitterlees before heading into the outskirts of Silleth. We've got Stanick Park now, just coming up on the left hand side. You can park in the car park while you go to check in. Some of the spaces are a little bit awkward if you've got a large vehicle to turn around, but there always seems to be plenty of space in there. Right, we're checked in, so let's head to our pitch. And we're on the same area of the site as last time, which is the Skidor area. We've got our fingers crossed that it's as quiet as last time as well, because that was brilliant. It's looking really promising. We're the only van on at the moment, apart from two other vans which are joining us. And we've arrived at Stanning Park on a wet, windy Monday. We had a lovely evening at Stanick Park, we'll come back to that at the end. But the next morning I took Roxy for a walk across the golf course and down to the beach at Silleth. So you head this way just through the gate here, down to the golf club and across to the beach. So here we are now at the beach at Silleth on this quite grey day, but at least it's not raining. It takes about five, ten minutes to walk from the campsite at Stanick Park down to the beach. So not too far and not a bad walk, you just wander across the golf course. And when I say wander across the golf course, I mean follow the path of course. We're through the dunes now and just coming onto the beach.
great sand to walk the dog. Roxy's enjoying herself. We'll just catch her in the background there. <laughs> We're going to turn right now off the beach and then just follow along the harbour towards Silleth. The harbour's fenced off for safety and security reasons. Let's take a quick look over the fence to see what's in the harbour. Just down here is Silleth Golf Club and also the entrance to the port. We carried on straight ahead after passing the port and harbour and then came to the main part of Silleth. There were some nice looking shops and tea rooms, a little bit early though for them to be open as we were out early on the morning. So we then wandered along back in the direction of Stanick Park around the, I think it's the football pitch and the rugby club. You can see the direction now where we came from. And we're gonna take a right hand turn here. If we look down that way and then head over the bridge and back towards the campsite. There are a number of campsites and holiday parks in Silleth. There's also Stanick's sister site, Hilton Park. You can see the other side of the golf club there. This is looking on the way back to Stanick Park and we also pass the Cumberland Inn. There's a takeaway which unfortunately is closed down. It was open when we were here years ago and we used it at that time. You also pass Green Rock Pentecostal Church on the way back to Stanick's on the left. And you can see the tennis courts at Stanick Park just coming into view on the right hand side there as we wander back. So you pull into the site here and then you just go and check in at reception which is over there and you can park in the car park while you wait to check in. Once you've checked in you need to either go left here towards Skidar site or right towards Criffle. You can also go right towards the outdoor pool. bit cold to the outdoor pool. I think we'll stick with the indoor one which is just in here. Check-ins 2 o'clock on the site and departures 11 o'clock but you can use the facilities from 9 o'clock on the day of arrival. As well as touring pitches there's also a lot of statics on the park and there's also holiday accommodation to hire. Back to the van now. and see the facilities block there and also the pods that are on this part of the site. Apart from the other two CV vans that were with us, we had this bit of the park to ourselves. The rain was relentless though. I had a lovely birthday on the Monday evening and thank you so much to George, Rose and Hilary for coming along. It really made the day. So Rachel, what did you think of Stanick Park? It evokes and brings back so many memories. This was where Jess used to love, it was her favourite site when she was a kid. She was crowned Miss Stanick's if you remember, um, when she was eight I think it was. It was lovely to go back, albeit we went back outside of school, um, kids' holidays 
if you like peace and quiet I wouldn't recommend going in school holiday try and get it outside both times that we went we had near enough the whole um, touring picture to touring area to ourselves facility wise amazing toilets clean tidy amazing to go somewhere when the weather's so shocking and it was shocking wasn't it near enough both times to go somewhere where you can be warm you can go in the swimming pool jacuzzi sauna steam room and go and have something to eat the staff in the cafe stroke restaurant were amazing they were good but i think the highlight of the trips to Stanick for me personally was all of the friends that came to celebrate your birthday with you and um, it was so nice that there was people there we had a lovely time really enjoyed it what about yes. you no it was lovely again the weather wasn't brilliant um well twice when we were there it wasn't brilliant but uh, as you say Rachel it was nice that you can do things uh, there and do you know what, off peak it's a brilliant price for what you get, you can't go wrong with it. And we paid just somewhere near £25 a night for all of those facilities and electrical hookup. And the toilet block was lovely and warm as well, uh, which is unusual, um, having one that warm, it was, uh, it was great. There was even a bath in it, um, to be fair, so uh, not that I was going to have a bath in it, but, but there was one there, should you choose to. So yeah, it was really good. I had a lovely um, birthday break. Really, it was the it it, it wasn't just uh, at Stanick, but a birthday break. It was lovely to see George and Rose and Hillary. Uh, it, it was really really nice. Um, so really enjoyed it. And uh, clearly, we would go back again because we have already. Uh, and at some point in time, we might get back to the weather we used to get when we were there years ago, which was nice and sunny. Don't forget that we always used to go for Jesse's birthday, which is end of May, beginning of June. Yeah. So you would yeah. get different weather. Definitely. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.